so we'll uh, start from where we uh, left yesterday so for the completion sake and continuity sake i'm starting from the first slide again so indices to find rays i'll rush through it for you to have the continuity indices to find rays are cephalic index facial index brachial crural inter Membral index, humor of femoral index, right? These are the six indices to find rays, right? The cephalic index, so brachycephalic belongs to Mongols and Japanese, mesatycephalic belongs to Caucasoid and Chinese, and dolichocephalic belongs to Dravidian, Orion, Negroid, and Aborigines. Yes, we have just seen cephalic index and rexius index, right? So facial index. Facial index you all remember probably. So numerator is nation to Ignatian. Denominator is zygomatic distance. Yes. With respect to the limbs, right? Upper limb and lower limb. So brachial index, crural, intermembral, humerofemoral. So brachial is ratio of radius and humerus. Crural is ratio between length of tibia divided by length of femur. So intermembral index, radius plus humerus divided by tibia plus femur and humorofemoral ratio between humerus and femur. So all will have multiplication factor 100. Yes, remember it. Indices to find sex. Yes. So in other words, the question would be indices to find sexual dimorphism. See, both are correct. Sexual dimorphism is different in both genders, right? Or indices to find sex or sexual dimorphism, right? So these are the list of indices. We'll see one by one. So don't get upset by seeing number of indices. We'll see one by one. And it is so easy to remember, right? So we'll start with only three. The chylotic line index, the most repeated MCQ with respect to indices to find sex is chylotic line index. So the indices are arranged in such a way in the order of repeat with respect to the MCQs, right? So chylotic line index is ratio between pelvic segment of chylotic line to sacral segment of chylotic line, right? Yes. And sciatic notch index is nothing but ratio between depth of greater sciatic notch to breadth of greater sciatic notch. It is greater sciatic notch, right? Sciatic notch index refers to greater sciatic notch. Depth divided by breadth, right? And then the skew pubic index, also called as Washburn index, right? So which is nothing but length of pubis divided by length of ischium bone, right? Yes. So one more hint I'll tell you. Wherever you come across this index, the first word will be denominator. See, ischio pubic index, ischium will be in the denominator, right? There are only one or two exceptions that I'll tell you. Otherwise, take it for granted, the first word will be denominator. If the phrase is ischio pubic index, ischium will be in the denominator, right? Pubic will be in the numerator, right? Yes. So, ischio pubic index, I told you, ischio pubic index is always called as Washburn index. It is useful to find species also. So sex and species can be found out from ischiopubic index. So till this we have known. So I'll introduce you to a few more indices that are more important with respect to UNICEF. So sacral index, right? Sacral index. So please pay attention. The indices with respect to sacrum would be quite confusing. So I'll make it clear. So if you follow me, it will be crystal clear for you for your rest of the lives. So sacral index is nothing but ratio between, ratio between breadth of sacrum right breadth of sacrum breadth of sacrum which is also called as anterior superior breadth right antero superior breadth or simply breadth maximal breadth of the sacrum divided by anterior length of sacrum right anterior length of sacrum so breadth divided by length is sacral index right so what is the next one corporo basal index right corporo basal index so corporo basal index is nothing but ratio between ratio between breadth of first sacral vertebra divided by breadth of sacrum so breadth of s1 vertebra body of s1 vertebra divided by breadth of sacrum is corporo basal index so i to, i have given you a hint you know uh, regarding the numerator and denominator. See, carporobasal index would not fit into that mnemonic. So, except carporobasal index, all other indices will have the first word as denominator. Right. So, the animations have the words. So, the animation is there. And then we'll have go to the next two important indices. One is ALR index. Right. ALR index. See, ALR index is otherwise called as base wing index. Right. Base wing index. Also, it is called Kaimura index, Kaimura's base wing index. 
the index itself is called Kaimura's base wing index. It is nothing but ratio between wing. See, I told you, base wing. So wing will come for numerator, right? Breadth of the wing divided by breadth of first sacral vertebra, right? Base wing index. So breadth of the wing divided by breadth of S1 vertebra is ALR index or base wing index of Kaimura. Then comes curvature index. See, curvature index is also so easy. Curvature, so the word should go to denominator. This is the first word, so it should go to the denominator. So the numerator is length, maximal length of sacrum divided by curvature length. See, what is the difference between maximal length and curvature length? See, maximal length is measured by using the calipers, right? Vernier calipers. Whereas curvature length is measured along the curvature of sacrum, right? It is measured along the curvature of sacrum using an inch tape, right? Or a measuring tape. So please remember, maximal length vernier caliper, curvature length, right, measured along the curvature of sacrum using an inch tape. So curvature index, right. Few other miscellaneous indices, few other miscellaneous indices that we should know. One is nasal index, right, nasal index. Nasal index is nothing but ratio between width by height of nasal cavity. Right, width by height of nasal cavity. Right. Then second one is sternal index. The sternal index is nothing but ratio between length of manubrium divided by length of body. Length of manubrium divided by length of body. Right. Yes. And third one is mandibular canine index. Right. Mandibular canine index. And fourth one is footprint ratio. Right. Footprint ratio. See, these nasal, sternal, mandibular, canine index and footprint ratio, it is enough if we know the names, right? For an extra nugget I have given you in the animation, in the animation you have the formula. It is an extra point, right? It is an extra point. If you, if you have more time, you can go to that extra point. If not, it is enough just to know the names. Nasal index, sternal index, mandibular, canine index, footprint ratio. Mandibular, canine index is nothing but uh, Mesio distal width divided by arch distance, right? Mesio distal width divided by arch distance, right? Mesio distal width divided by arch distance, right? And footprint ratio is nothing but ratio between maximal breadth of a footprint divided by maximal length of the footprint, right? Maximal breadth divided by maximal length. Only three more indices are there. So with this three more indices, all these indices are over. First rule is called Ashley, the word Ashley. The parameter that we are six of individual, right? If length of sternum is more than 149 millimeter, Ashley's rule is always called as 149 rule in forensic medicine. So more than 149 millimeter size, the sternum should be a male sternum. Less than 149, it is a female sternum, right? Yes. And then Hirtle's law. Second one is Hirtle's law. Hirtle's law is nothing but if you take manubrium and body, manubrium of sternum and body of sternum, the ratio between the manubrium and body will be more than 2 is to 1, right? More than 2 is to 1. In other words, length of mesosternum, length of mesosternum or body, body of sternum will be twice that of manubrium in male. Remember a man wearing a tie, right? So I used to give this mnemonic. Remember a man wearing a tie. The knot of the tie will be small knot of the tie will be small, manubrium, and the sleeve will be lengthy. Right? The sleeve will be lengthy. So sleeve, compare the sleeve to body of sternum. So body of sternum will be more than twice the manubrium. Remember the tie, huh? remember the necktie, necktie, a man wearing a necktie, Hirtle's law, right? Exactly. And then the third one is medullary index. See, this medullary index refers to hair, right? Hair, medullary index, huh? hair. So medullary index is nothing but ratio between diameter of medulla divided by total diameter of hair. So diameter of medulla divided by total diameter of hair. And if the medullary index is lesser than 0.3, human hair. Medullary index is more than 0.3 or to be exact, medullary index more than 0.5. Hair belongs to animal hair, right? So simple, less than 0.3 human, more than 0.3 animal, right? So exact answer is more than 0.5, more than 0.5 animal hair. So this Ashley's rule, Hirtle's law, medullary index, we have to know the numbers, right? We have to know the numbers. So cephalic index, Ashley's rule, Hirtle's law, medullary index, all four, we have to know the numbers, right? So in animation, you have the numbers. Yes. Yes. So Ashley's rule, 149 millimeter, more than 149, 
male less than 149 female so hertel's law imagine a man wearing a tie so the knot refers to manubrium sleeve refers to body right and then medullary index less than 0.3 human more than 0.5 animal yes so please pay attention to the slide please pay attention to the slide so out of all the indices we have discussed right out of all the indices we have discussed mandibular canine index footprint ratio medullary index have no multiplication factor all other indices have multiplication factor 100 right so right from cephalic index facial index crural index brachial index intermembral index humerofemoral index to find race and sex indices right sex indices beginning with the sciatic notch index right and then ischiopubic index sacral index curvature index timuras base wing index all these indices will have multiplication factor 100 right a numerator a denominator into 100 right except mandibular canine index footprint ratio and medullary index they don't have any multiplication factor this is one of the repeat mcq with respect to chipmer which of the following indices doesn't have multiplication factor or which of the following indices doesn't have multiplication factor 100 or not multiplied by 100 so the question is so easy please remember mandibular canine medullary index and footprint ratio doesn't have multiplication factor 100 so rest all other indices will have multiplication factor 100 right so with this we'll close today and then tomorrow we'll come again with an interesting and repeat mcq probable topic with respect to forensic medicine thank you Best training, peaceful environment, PG medical entrance exam preparation were my expectations. I got them at Speed Medical Village in Kanchipuram. Today, I am a PG topper. Speed Medical Village, a unique eco-friendly campus dedicated for PG preparation. Speed Medical Institute, a complete solution for medical education.